Hey foodies, welcome back to Noshed. Today, we're peering into the current storm swirling around McDonald's in America. Have increased prices at McDonald's backfired? Is this the end of the iconic fast food giant as we know it? Stick around as we unravel the reasons behind the price hikes, customer reactions, and the potential impact on the fast food industry. But before we pull back the curtain, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can stay on top of all of your favorite fast food updates. If you've noticed that grabbing a quick meal at your favorite fast food joint is taking a bigger bite out of your wallet lately, you are not alone. Customers across the nation are complaining about the surge in prices. I'm not talking about these fast food restaurants going up to almost $9 for a Big Mac. The cost of a Big Mac in America has gone up by 280% in the last two decades, with the most expensive meals found in states like New York and Connecticut, where an $18 Big Mac meal is not uncommon. Another complaint is about the overpriced sides, and a viral thread on TikTok shares videos from McDonald's customers saying the company has gone too far, charging more than $3 for a single hash brown in some locations. This is $3 worth of food. This hash brown, which I think used to be two for a dollar. This, for reference, is a potato, which you can get four to five pounds of these for three dollars, four dollars. Something doesn't seem right here. The prices for a hash brown are three dollars, quarter pounder with cheese, a meal, twelve eighty in Brooklyn, New York. And in Darien, Connecticut, a Big Mac meal is eighteen dollars. McDonald's, you come sit your trifling behind down. Who told y'all y'all was that good to be charging that much for y'all food? Y'all supposed to be good for the price. The increased prices have hit hard, especially for those making less than $45,000 a year. McDonald's CEO reveals a startling fact. People in this income bracket have begun avoiding McDonald's altogether. Remember back in the 90s when a Big Mac meal cost less than $3? With our $2.99 Big Mac Extra Value Meal and low-priced Happy Meals, the whole family can get exactly what they want for dinner. Well, those days are long gone. Even in the mid-2000s, McDonald's had a dollar menu, which is now a relic of the past. The fast food inflation we're witnessing isn't just about burgers and fries. It's a signal of a broader economic shift. The Wall Street Journal reports that food now consumes over 11% of disposable income, which is the highest it's been in three decades. As costs of dining out surge, major restaurant chains like Denny's and Wendy's are also reporting declining guest counts. Consumers report that they're now thinking twice before dining out and are often opting to buy groceries instead, realizing that eating at home is much more cost effective. And they're not wrong. While grocery prices are still high, in 2023, these prices just rose 1.3%, compared to a 5.2% increase in overall fast food prices. But McDonald's surpassed that by upping its prices a whopping 10%. It's an industry-wide problem, and the reasons are far-reaching. The cost of food has gone up due to increased commodity prices and rising labor costs. The pandemic doubled the cost of cattle for McDonald's burgers, and states like California are aggressively raising minimum wage, with a shocking $20 per hour for fast food workers. Franchise owners, despite making millions in revenue, face hefty fees, leaving them with a modest profit. So, while McDonald's controls menu prices, it's the franchise owners who bear the burden of the rising costs. As the burger chain reports lower than expected sales at its U.S. stores, CEO Chris Kempczynski addressed McDonald's affordability problem, indicating they would start cutting prices on some menu items. Chief Financial Officer Ian Borden recently stated, We certainly know consumers are more wary and weary of pricing, and we're going to continue to be consumer-led in our pricing decisions as we look forward to 2024. This is a welcome change in tone for McDonald's executives from last October, when Kamzinski stated that even with their 10% price increase in 2023, the consumer is tolerating it well. After significant pushback from patrons, both in dwindling food sales and criticism on social media, execs at the Golden Arches are finally starting to listen. Kapzinski said that in the coming months, the company plans to focus on affordability and absolute price point rather than temporary deals. Could it be time to bring back the dollar menu? Kempsinski said McDonald's would double down on its D123 strategy, which does price some items between $1 and $3. The fast food industry, particularly McDonald's, is at a crossroads. Will it adapt to changing economic landscapes, or 
are we witnessing the beginning of a decline? The impact on small business owners and consumers is evident, but only time will tell how this saga unfolds. What do you think is in store for the future of McDonald's? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to Noshed Food Channel for more juicy updates.